We built this greenhouse in 2017 and I've been planting it with winter greens every year and trying to grow enough greens for our restaurant that we can have them super early in the spring and late into the fall. So this is an unheated greenhouse, no supplemental heat at all. I've been trying to figure it out. So what the best timing? Is it better to plant in the fall or better to plant in the spring? What varieties work best? Is direct seeding better or transplanting better? What greens work well? I've been trying to figure these things out over the years through a lot of trial and error and I would say this year has been pretty successful and I wanted to show you folks what I've figured out. So it's March 15th today. The spinach that we planted in the fall is doing great. It's growing really quickly. The stuff that was seeded in October has almost doubled in size. What germinated? Some of it didn't germinate, so there's a lot of gaps. So I'm going to fill in those gaps with spinach seed today. And then we planted a row of cilantro and a row of radishes. So we also weeded the miners lettuce out of this area with the smaller spinach in it because they were taking over and taking up too much space. And we want the spinach to grow more than we want the miners lettuce to grow. And the mustard and the arugula that I planted last time I was in here, it started to germinate. So we've started watering the greenhouse at this point and the soil is definitely warm, not frozen anymore. And the maximum thermometer is showing me that it went as cold as minus 10, but it's also been as high as 35 degrees. So that's 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Really big swings in temperatures here, which is really damaging for some plants, but also totally fine for other plants like spinach and kale. And we can see that today. All right, so we're back in the greenhouse and it is April 1st today. It's amazing how fast things grow once they start to get going, once the day lengths are longer. This is spinach that was seeded last fall. It's quite beautiful and robust. I haven't harvested any from over here yet, but I'm gonna start. As well, you can see in between, we've got the spinach that we seeded uh, a couple of weeks ago. So that's germinated and that's doing well. Um, a nice row of radishes that have come up right here. And then just yesterday, a row of cilantro has come up. So both of those are cold hardy crops. They both were okay with germinating in cold temperatures. And then on this side, you can see this is the spinach that I transplanted into the greenhouse last fall. So I've actually harvested from this a couple of times. Um, as well in here, you can see there's these tiny little head lettuces. I actually grew these in the tiny soil blocks and then transplanted them into here a couple weeks ago and it totally worked. So here we are in our winter greenhouse. It's May 1st, it's not winter anymore, it's still solidly spring and it is super awesome. I've been harvesting a lot of spinach and greens from the greenhouse and I just wanted to show you where everything is at. So there's two different kinds of spinach here. This is lakeside and this is regimen. So they're both doing really well. I've been harvesting a lot of leaves off these over the last month, uh, especially the lakeside. The leaves are really huge. They're amazing. As soon as they started growing in March, they were putting out these huge leaves. The regimen is quite nice as well. It's like a glossier, darker green, a little bit more uh, curved shape. And we've got a lot of arugula. So I seeded this arugula in the winter. Really the plan for this whole greenhouse is to put tomatoes in, in the beginning of May. And so it's sort of like uh, the greens are in a race against uh, the weather to be warm enough for the tomatoes. So we'll see, we'll see how that works. So this spinach over here, I planted from seed in the fall and some of it came up and grew really nicely. And then others uh, left gaps. Uh, it was a little bit erratic in terms of germination, which isn't surprising because I was putting seeds in in November and some of them germinated right away. Some of them took a while. Some of them even germinated in February. Um, so I added a lot more seeds in February as well. So we've got more of the regiment and more of the lakeside. And you can see it's quite a bit smaller um, because it wasn't from transplants. I've still been getting quite a lot of nice big leaves off these, but I haven't actually even harvested very much of this. Um, and then this is called red tabby. And I love this spinach because it's so beautiful and bright. It almost looks like a Swiss chard, but uh, it still has really nice tender leaves. Um, so this is one I've been enjoying growing. And I couldn't find it from the seed companies I was ordering from this year. So I found this one called Beausoleil. Um, but interestingly, this I planted in the spring and this one is already bolting. So you can see this is a good example. Um, it's elongating the stem and it's growing tall and some of them are even making tiny little flowers. So I wouldn't grow Beausoleil again in the winter because it's bolting really quickly. 
I'd say I'm happy with both Regimen and Lakeside. I don't really have a preference of one over the other. Um, and I usually try and grow a few. Uh, it's nice to have different shapes and colors on the plate, I find, instead of just a spinach salad that's just all green. Spinach has been really the best crop that we've had over the winter because it takes so long to bolt. There's another one over here called mache or mash, spelled M-A-C-H, also called corn salad. I find mache doesn't have like the best flavor. It's a little bit like sweet and soapy, I will say, and also it bolts really quickly. Um, they also put on nice leaves, but like the leaves aren't big. They're a little bit finicky, so they're a little bit harder to use. I like spinach just because the leaves are big and it means you can tear them up or you can process them and cook them. And it's just a lot more versatile. So you can use it in a lot of different dishes and it also stands up on your plate and takes up a lot of space and really like looks good and exciting. Um, so anyway, mache, tatsoi, these are sort of remnants of past experiments that I have given up on in favor of spinach. There's a couple other plants growing in here as well. We've got a really nice row of cilantro growing. And then we've also got radishes. And although some of them are pretty small, there's some that are getting there's some that are getting big enough to eat. So I'm gonna pull a few of these for uh, the restaurant this weekend. Beautiful little radishes. This is definitely an experiment part that I will repeat. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And they're like not even spicy yet. Like we've been watering the greenhouse really a lot to try and get specifically the radishes to grow, but just to give everything enough moisture. I think that's the best radish I've ever eaten.